Oh my life, I have tried. <laughs> wow, man. I'm going to have to explain today just how things are. I don't understand us. I don't understand us. If we only would admit that most of us are average. Let me get this thing set up for y'all. I want y'all to share this because I ain't cursing. I really want to talk about the dynamic between the relationships and men and women. And just understand, listen, you will never be upset if you pick somebody that wants you. If y'all break up, you won't be upset. You know, I always start with the cash app because you could be anywhere. And every time I make live videos, they send me to jail. So I might as well make a little dime off of Facebook. If I'm up this bitch, my man, my man already hit me with a cash app to talk about this subject. So I'm just openly talking about it. But, uh, yo, for real, man, understand that, uh, you are only sad because you wanted a chick that didn't want you. Can I bust a rhyme on it, y'all? Y'all know, y'all know I like to bust a rhyme. Y'all mind if I bust a rhyme? Let me go over here and check these beans. My, my, my beans boiling over. I got some beans. Beans on the stove. Y'all mind if I bust around? Y'all mind if I bust a little rhyme? I got them beans. I got them beans on the stove over there. I bust a little rhyme. Listen, man. That girl didn't like you, bro. She didn't like you. See. You walked up on a woman that you knew was out of your league and you knew you couldn't get her and you cajoled her. If somebody want to look up the definition of cajole for me, C-A-J-O-L-E, cajole. Listen here, let me tell you how this thing went down, homeboy. Seen a nice chick at the club, thought she was looking right. Wanted to go home, but a bitch wouldn't give you the time of up your life. She wouldn't pay you a minute, so you pay for a time. Told her you would take her out and wine and dine. Took her on a trip overseas. Want a lot of shit that she wanted. Now the bitch don't give a fuck about you only. She never gave a damn. Now you're mad, crying to your motherfucking man, goddamn. Why the bitch don't like me? Paid the bitch for the pussy. Listen, man. Let me just start off by saying this. Just start off by saying this. Listen. There's a such thing called a bell curve. Let me show you. Show you. Let me show you some real life. Real teaching. And y'all can share this. There's a such thing. Do I have a marker up here? Because the marker, you can see my marker better. Do I have a marker up here? Okay, I don't have my marker. There's a such thing as a bell curve. I'm going to show y'all some, right? This is a bell curve. Y'all see that? That's a bell curve. This thing right here is the mean. That's the mean. That mean that's the average thing. The mean. And then you have one deviation from the mean. This way, that way, that way. This way, that way, that way. Well, what is it saying, Javon? What are you teaching? All of this over here are average motherfuckers. And it's so many average motherfuckers that motherfuckers that's average don't realize how fucking average they are. You can have money and be a very average motherfucker. You can have money and be very fucking average. Now, on this side, you have what I call the outliers. That's me. I'm an outlier on the good end. On this side, you have outliers on the bad end. These are the ugly, retarded motherfuckers, the people, you know, people nobody ever going to like. But for the most part, most people are average. You're in this average range. 
So when I talk this talk that I talk being the top dog down here, you wouldn't understand it. So you think I'm just talking. I'm telling you, bitches will listen to a nigga they won't. Now, you an average motherfucker fucking with the average woman. So if you're an average motherfucker, when they ask you, do you think women have uh, big mouths or are mean or aggressive? Do you think black women don't cook? Do you think black women don't do this, that, and the other? You're going to say, yeah, because you average. And you fucking with the average bitch. That's what you don't understand. I'm going to say, black women suck my dick. They let me fuck their sisters. They let me fuck with their cousins. Black women are cooked for me. Oh, black women are great. Because you're not over here with me. You can't get a girl to let you fuck her best friend. So when you see black women, you look at black women differently. You understand? I'm not trying to be funny. I'm telling you, you in the average range, motherfucker. And the problem with life is average motherfuckers be trying to fuck with girls over here. Now, you could be one standard deviation from just very average. Then you got some women that's another deviation from average. They close to being bad. So what happens is when this average, average motherfucker try to fuck with this girl over here in this region, she's pretty, she's sexy, uh, she got a fat ass and you know your average ass could not fuck with this girl this girl is still in the average range she's a bitch that might have two kids living in the project she's just fine she might be a bitch that ain't graduated from college or high school with just a nice body you don't know that cause you an average motherfucker look at the line you dead in the middle dead fucking average you don't wanna go over here and fuck with no women that's below average you see that this is the below average. This is average. This is the going to the below average side. This is going to the above average side. Once you get nice over here in this deviation, over here where I'm at is .23. I got a master's in statistics, you understand? So all that shit Kevin Samuels and Nick, I'm showing you motherfuckers right now. You average motherfucker want to go over here and get a girl from over here. She not gonna like you. So you ask to take her out. She look at you and say, hey, average guy, I wouldn't let you take me out. And she might be sweet and kind and say, I'm not interested. And you say, you sure? My average self now must overextend myself. She didn't like me as my average self. You said, can I take you out? You over here trying to fuck with one of these women. I got to do a class on it. You over here trying to fuck with one of these women. Average nigga trying to go above average, above his level. Fuck with one of these women. Hey, you want to go out? I can take you out. No, I'm not interested. Now he realized, oh shit, you need to go back over here or go. No, but you want her. You sure I can't take you out? We was go we was gonna go to Shay Lamont. We was gonna get that thousand dollar steak salt they got. You don't wanna do that? Then the woman think, well damn. I would love to post Salt Bay online cooking my steak. So she said, For real, you gonna take me to Salt Bay? Yeah, we'll do all that. Average motherfucker just overextended himself to get a bitch that he won't supposed to have. So he takes her to Salt Bay. They eat the salt based steak. He get a two, three mimosas. After a couple of times, he finally hit the pussy. Now, granddaddy told us, don't start what you can't keep up. Now, he done took the bitch to salt bay and fucked her. And now he didn't have a baby by her or might not have a baby by her. But what he realized is I can't keep take, taking you to salt bay. All black women is gold niggas. All black women is gold niggas. I need to go through a third world. Yes, all black women are gold niggas because you, average motherfucker, keep trying to fuck with an above average bitch. And the only reason she fuck with a motherfucker like you is for your gold. You average motherfucker. 
Meanwhile, I'm over here in the anomaly outlier land, 6'6", looking good, 44, still got a curly hat, a hat, don't flash no money. I, I tell a bitch I'm broke. My granddaddy called it crying pole mouth. That's my strategy. I got two eyes, children to take care of. I, 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 I'm broke. I ain't got nothing. You gonna have to fly me out, goddammit. So the bitch that he done wind and dine to get, I fucked the bitch behind the fucking 7-Eleven because I done seen the bitch at the club one night. He in the club buying drinks, buying drinks, buying drinks, following the bitch around the club. I done walked up to the bitch and said some slick shit. Look like you ovulating tonight. That's one of my lines. Cause bitches go out when they feeling themselves. So that's one of my psychological lines. Just fuck with them. Hey, you smell like you ovulating. Boy, go ahead. And, you think I can't smell when a woman ovulating? I smell you, woman. For real? Now she curious. I am ovulating. Even if bitch ain't ovulating, I'ma say it. Cause I'm a above average motherfucker. See, you don't even know how to do that. See, when you ain't 6'6 six, six and pretty like me, you can't walk up to no woman and say, you, you smell like you ovulating. You can't do that. So in your mind, these bitches are gold diggers. In your mind, these women are gold diggers because you've had to supply your gold for every woman you get. Let's talk about it, Javon. I was fucking with this girl Bad than a motherfucker. Her, her, her husband was a, uh, I ain't gonna say local drug dealer cause somebody might pick up on the story. Her husband was a somewhat local drug dealer. He had all types of motorcycle shops, rim shop, bad motherfucker, right? He's supposed to be big shit. He got all the dope money in the world. I'm fucking his bitch. Slutting her out. Now, she's telling me, I'm going to leave him. I'm going to leave him. I say, you better not leave him for me. Well, they broke up. They broke up. When he broke up with her, I kept fucking her. I kept fucking her. She would tell me, he won't even give me no money for his children unless I give him some pussy. He won't even pay no bills unless I fuck him. You know he a dope boy, so I can't take him to child support court because he ain't really got no real income. I would have to snitch on him as a drug dealer to even get any benefits. So I said, well, why you keep fucking him? She said, because I need the money and I need the help. I said, well, bitch, keep doing what you started. She said, what you mean? I said, didn't you fuck him for money in the first place? She said, yeah. I said, well, this motherfucking dope boy, no, he couldn't afford getting no bitch like you without some gold and drug money. So now he want to keep doing like you started. Don't start. Don't keep, keep up, goddammit. Although y'all was married and you had kids by him, he know he bought you. So when he brings some money by, he wants some goddamn pussy. Get that man the pussy he want. You used to do it. Get that man some pussy. If you got with a nigga because he had money. If you got with a nigga because he had money and had his child and now he won't do right unless you fuck at him. Good for your black ass. Don't give that bitch a dime unless she give you some pussy nigga. Because that's how y'all started. And I tell the man the same thing. You're going to have to give that man some pussy. See, that's what we don't understand. When you an average motherfucker, you do average shit. You see what I'm saying? I'm not an average motherfucker. I got a few gray hairs growing. I can't wait till I get gray. I'm not an average motherfucker. You see you see my gray to hair? Y'all saw when my hair was long. I can pull that shit. See, I'm not an average motherfucker. I don't have an average 44-year-old man hairline. I don't have average nigga skin. Y'all niggas got eczema and shit. I don't have average nigga skin. I don't have an average Anthony Hamilton beard. I got, I never had a cavity. I don't have average nigga teeth. I got dimples. I'm not an average motherfucker. I'm 6'6". Six, six. I'm not average. So I don't say average shit to bitches. I move my other bitch in with me. I can move four, five bitches in with me. I'm not an average motherfucker. So I 
can give you some advice. I'm fucking all the bitches that you paid the fuck. Behind the 7-Eleven. You going in the goddamn strip club, throwing money. Me and my boy back from college. I'm six, we big six, five, six, six niggas. We in there, we fucking the strippers. We waiting for the strippers. See, we not average. We got six. We done fucked them strippers so much. So I don't need to watch P-Valley, no shit like that. Me and my boy Rock used to go to the motherfucking strip club. And I'm not average. So I go on a Thursday night. Them bitches get in town Wednesday. They strip Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I know by Friday night, them bitches done snorted all they coke up, smoked all they reefer up, did all they little drugs. So Thursday night, I'm like, look, if y'all need some, holler at me, goddamn it, I can get you what you want. Oh, for real? I got a little bit left, but I'm going to need some Saturday night after the club. Oh, you going to need some coke in a strange city? Saturday night after the club, you can't get that nowhere but for me. I'm going to get hit my home, but man, give me a couple of goddamn grams of coke, man. Where you going? I'm going to the strip club and catch me a stripper with some coke. These bitches from out of town. So you done gave the bitch all your money in the strip club. Oh, let's throw the rain. Make it rain, diamond, diamond, diamond. I made it rain on you, diamond. What's up? How much the pussy cost? And I'm sitting there, every stripper that come by me, hey, come here, psst, psst. Hey, what you doing after the club? Nigga, what? I got some party favors. Oh, for real? You got party favors? Yeah. So you done gave the bitch all your money. I got a motherfucking $150 bag of cocaine powder. You done gave the bitch $1,500. I got a $150 bag of cocaine powder. Cocaine. And that bitch gonna leave with me. I'm not average, motherfucker. So I don't get no stripper, no goddamn money, man. Party favors. Yeah, that's what I used to call them. Bitch know what that is. I ain't going to tell the bitch I got cocaine in the car. I got some party favors for you, baby. I'm an old man like my granddaddy. He was above average. My granddaddy was way all the fucking above average. What are you saying, Javon? Average motherfucking men... Can't get above average bitches lest they sell themselves up with money. Well, once you sell yourself up with money, you're going to have to keep selling yourself up with money. Now, let's talk about being a lion. Let's talk about being a lion and an alpha male. Let's just talk because people, a lot of a lot of people don't like to talk. Can I take a pause for the cash app nation? I don't care if you're lying. I, like I said, I already told y'all, when I do a live, I've already been paid. I charge $200 to do a live. So I already been paid $200. I done said this shit a million times. I ain't got to lie. So if I go to Facebook jail, and, and I, I done made me 200 If I get 30 days in Facebook jail for $200, that's worth it to me, goddammit. Now... What I'm saying is to y'all, you can be watching fucking Kevin Hart, you can be watching anybody. So if you're watching it, my cash app right there, because this is real talk and it's entertaining and somebody going to learn something from this by the time I'm finished. I want to take a little small pause for the cash app break. Somebody, if you got me, uh, just say you got me. If you got me, say you got me. Uh... Even if you're lying, because I ain't going to move forward to somebody say they got me. Because like I said, I go to Facebook jail for these simp-ass niggas getting mad for me exposing the truth. If you mad at women, you an average motherfucker. Above average nigga like me, I, I, I thought I was a woman. I was scared. Hey, man, why you doing these bitches like this? Why you doing it? Then I realized I ain't doing these bitches no kind of way. I'm telling these bitches the truth. I got a wife. I do what the fuck I want to do. What the fuck you want to do? If you like me, you like me. I wouldn't like a bitch that don't like me. I shoot my shot. Hey, what's up? I'm Javon. Cute, six five, six six, tall guy. Handsome. You like me? She said, no, I'm not feeling you. I said, that's a brick. Well, is there any way I can get her to like me? Is there any other way? Bitch, if you don't like me, I don't like you. I like bitches that like me. See, I don't like to have the tongue kiss and spit in a bitch's mouth. Uh, that lick tongue. <laughs> no, I like bitches that like me. That means when I'm on the way to their house, my dick hard in the car. I like bitches that like me. When I'm on the way to their house, if they like me and I know they like me, I'm going to be hard in the car. I ain't going to need no dick pill. Honey, I, these niggas asked me the other day, you want to buy some dick, honey? Dick, honey? You got 
honey for your dick, man? He said, yeah, man, this honey make your dick strong and hard. I said, man, get the fuck out of here. What kind of bitch you fucking? You need some motherfucking dick, honey. Maybe your dick ain't big. Maybe you're fat and sloppy, lazy motherfucker. You don't get all your full erectile or something. I don't know, but the motherfucker said some dick, honey. I said, man, I don't need no dick, honey. When I get ready to go fuck my bitches, I like my bitches so much. Not only do I be hard in the car, I be pre-coming, leaking like a cut pig in the car on the way over there. My dickhead be dripping. I be embarrassed. Ugh, let me wipe that head off. God damn, I don't want to see that goddamn. She pulled my drawers down. The bitch be like, ho, ho, ho. You got something? I said, no, bitch, I'm just pre-coming. I'm leaking, baby. I'm leaking, baby. When I get to the bitch house, the bitch can change the drawers two, three times. These women know when they really want to fuck somebody, they be leaking, dripping like a stuck hog. That pussy be down there. She said, God damn it, I got to change my drawers. Let me get a rag because I got a line of drip down my leg. Let me get that off my leg. God damn, nigga. I ain't want the nigga to know I was goddamn sli slimy, slimy like that. So if you got to have some dick shit, you fucking bitches that don't want you and that you don't want. What do you mean, Javon? Let's talk about it. Let's talk about how simp these motherfucking niggas is acting. Let's say we lions. You know, we talking about lions. Yeah, that dick hunting, man. I ain't them motherfuckers just ain't fooling me. I don't take no, I don't take no dick hunting, Viagra, dick pills, black monkeys, black pearls, monkey alligators, none of that shit. That shit'll kill you. You don't know how long that shit been out. Pussy ain't worth that much. If my dick don't get hard off a bitch, I tell her, hey, baby, you ain't turn me on shit. I know I ain't got, I said, you throw that rubber away, I get hard. <laughs> you throw that rubber away, I get hard. <laughs> I'm just playing with you. I'm, listen, I don't need none of that shit because I'm a lion. Now, imagine a lion in real life. A lion, real life lions. Because y'all say we alpha males. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not an animal. But if we're going to be real and talk about lions and alpha animals in every sense of the word, I'm an alpha. Six, six. I'm a foot taller than most niggas. I'm pretty. I got a main head full of hair. I got a big old long dick. I got a harem of women. I don't have a job. The, the, the women that I know, if I ever get down and out, I can call any one of my bitches and tell them to pay my mortgage and send me some money. So I'm really kind of like a real whole walking lion out this motherfucker. If you want to be real about it, Jay-Z can't do what I do. Jay-Z can't walk in the house and say, hey, Beyonce, I bought my side bitch home. She bought you a gift. Matter of fact, I'm going to move her in this week and uh, you set a room up for her. Jay-Z can't do that. Money don't make you baby to do that. That's masculinity because I'm a, <laughs> I'm a top lion, motherfucker. But since we're talking about it, I'm not even claiming alpha male. I don't walk around. I'm masculine, motherfucker. Ain't nothing I can do to you. Either you're masculine or you're not. Y'all niggas want to take the bitch out to dinner, fly the bitch around the world. I take the bitch to the house. She lay on my chest. She said, can I pick you? Bust them little pimples on your neck. Go ahead, baby. Go ahead, baby. She said, you got a couple of ingrown hair. I love to pull hairs out. They look funny. She want to take my nose. You know how you push your nose up in that little white stuff? That's what bitches, bitches like to play with my hands, motherfucker. What you talking about, nigga? You don't know how that feel. You don't know how it feel for a bitch to like you and hear you in the break room at work talking one day saying, I love some goddamn uh spaghetti bowl your knees or some shit. You in the break room just talking and you come to work a couple of days later. One of the teachers say, hey, the Italian bitch. That everybody want to fuck at the school that nobody think nobody can fuck. I'm the teacher now. Yeah, I like a little spaghetti bolognese. I ain't really doing nothing but dropping a hint for the Italian teacher, bitch. Just to see do she fuck with niggas. Just a little hint, hint. Y'all not above average, so you'd never know that. So, I'm dropping a little hint, hint. And uh, about a week later, I'm sitting in the goddamn break room. And uh, the Italian lady, hey, excuse me, Mr. Clark. Hey, what's up, Mrs. Ta I forgot your name, Miss Bordadero. Oh, okay. Uh, I heard you say you like the spaghetti bolognese. I know how to make that. I bought you some. Guess what my mind said? Chopping block. Soon as you bought me that lunch, that that woman listened at me, heard what I like, and bought it to school. Boy, you want to dance on this dick like the devil in the nighttime? Woo! 
That bitch said, I want to dance on the dick like the dogs in the nighttime. Keep me skipping like stir fry. That bitch said she want to dance on the dick like the dogs in the nighttime. Meanwhile, you out here taking the bitch some. <laughs> you taking the bitch some. You at the job. Excuse me, Italian lady. I just bought you a flower or a rose or something. Let me show you how this works since y'all like to compare us to animals. Listen, this how this go. Listen. If a motherfucking male lion walked up to a female lioness and said, Hey, female lioness, I bought you a deer. I killed the antelope for you. I dressed him and everything. You mean no dressing me. I done already peeled the ham skin off him, bled him out, cut the throat up. I done shaved the feet. <laughs> Boy, this shit funny to me. A male lion. I done already killed the deer for him, bled him out. I got him salt and peppered him up, and I got him right here for you. The female said, what kind of weird ass motherfucking gay ass lion is you? He said, what you mean? I'm just trying to be a gentleman. I'm trying to be a nice guy. I'm a lion. What you mean? I'm a lion. Ah, bitch. You hurt my feelings. I had killed you an antelope and I bought him up to you. Dressed him and cooked him on smothering him and sent some gravy for you. She said, nigga, that ain't how nature is. I'm a lioness. I hunt for the toughest nigga. I hunt for the most masculine nigga. You see these girls right here, me and my sisters? We don't need no motherfucking man to motherfucking take care of us. Don't you hear women saying it today? They don't need men to take care of us. That, that, that female lion said, motherfucker, Mufasa, you see this motherfucker over here? She really said, Javon, you see this nigga? <laughs> Hey, Javon, you see this nigga? And I come over to the male lion. What's going on? What's going on? She said, this nigga bought me a deer already killed and bled out. I said, if you don't get your faggot of ass away from my bitches. <laughs> see, female lions, they want the masculine strong guy. So the female really comes to the male with an offering. The men, the men, see y'all don't realize in the the men don't hunt. The men don't hunt. He stay at home with the babies and teach them how to kill. Then the women take the babies out to hunt. See, this is how this shit go. <clears throat> Imagine, and I'm gonna show you how the women are out of order in a minute. Hey, look, do somebody got me on the goddamn cash app? Cause I ain't saying all this goddamn shit for nothing now. Now listen. Imagine. The male lion going up to the female, giving her an offering. She would think that's weird. So any man that walks up to a woman with a set of flowers, I sent you a fruit basket to your job. You a cowardly lion. Oh, hey, how you going? Oh, uh, did you get the fruit basket I said? I'm a lion. Oh, oh, put them up. I'm a lion. Look at me. I got some flowers for you. Listen. Let me teach y'all motherfucking niggas and men something. Niggas, if your job is to find a wife, you need to be seeing can a bitch wife, meaning verb of wife, can she cook, clean, suck dick, respect you, raise babies, keep her temper, communicate. Now, as a man, if you're trying to find out can a wife do that, you need to be getting her to do that. She need to be sucking my dick before we married. She need to be cooking and cleaning before we married. If I got a daughter, she need to be braiding her hair. Bitch, you need to be doing shit like a female lioness. Y'all got the game backwards. Y'all niggas is walking up to these women with shit. Hey, I want a wife. Let me cook and, 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 and take you on a date and, and take you on a trip. How does whining and dining the bitch show whether she can wife or not. A woman needs to show the man what they can do. This is how it's always been. A woman taught her daughter how to show that she can wife. The reason times have changed because men went into fairy tale land. Men went into fairy tale land. I want a bitch 
that I ain't supposed to have. I'm an average motherfucker and I want a bitch over here. So I got to do what? Sell myself up. I got to buy her something. I got to buy her something. Yeah, I don't know if she can wife, but here's a house. There you go. He then took the bitch on dates and wine and diner, and she then fell in love with the whining and dining. Now he done got married. They done moved in together, and he talking about, you read the wife? She like, what you mean, wife? You know, cook, clean. Nigga, you ain't asked me, could I do none of that shit? You were busy whining and dining me because you know I ain't want your fuck ass. Now it's finna get serious. You was busy whining and dining me because you know I ain't want your fuck ass. If 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 you if I if, if I'd have known you wanted me to do wife shit, goddamn it, I'd have told you straight up. Now, let me tell y'all some simp shit I seen. I'm not even gonna adopt that word. Scratch that from my vocabulary. Cause it's the simp motherfuckers that's that's calling other people simps. I seen a guy. On uh, Facebook, they shared a video. When a man say some bitch shit, women love it. When a man say some bitch shit, women love it. Y'all get this. I need a cash app. Somebody say I'm listening. Listen, I'm giving real teaching now. Watch this. I'm going to show y'all how women have tricked men into being bitches. Emotional baggage Bitches. Somebody say I got you on the cash app. Now let me show you what I mean. If a man say some female psychological bitch shit, women listen. Even if it's against women. If a man say some psychological female feminist bitch shit, women are listening. And if women listening, men don't listening. Now let me explain you what I mean. I saw this guy on Facebook. This shit got millions of views. He said, when you ask a woman and a man about trust, they have different views of trust. If you ask a woman, do she trust her man? Her mind will think about, is he cheating? He said, but if you ask a man, if he trusts a woman, his mind will go to his ego and protecting his most fragile place. And then the guy said, what you mean? He said, well, I told my woman I got molested when I was a little boy. And then she got mad at me and bought it and threw it in my face. You got molested when you was a little boy and you must be gay because your uncle touched you. He said, it, it, it hit me in my broken place. <laughs> Why would she hit me there? Now, first of all, I didn't openly say it. I got molested. When I was a little boy, nigga tried to do some funny shit to me, and a woman did some funny shit to me. Now, my brother saved me from the nigga, but he did do some funny shit. I don't, but see, this is the thing. I'm a 6'6 six, six grown man. I can't help what a fucking predator did to me as a child. I didn't know what the fuck was going on. So if I tell a bitch I got molested and she bring it in my face, I said, bitch, that don't hurt me. So first of all, you're a weak motherfucker anyway. To sit here and be a grown ass man and think that a motherfucker touching you or playing with your dick or playing with your ass is your fault or that it has some bearing on your manhood today. That's like a woman getting raped, right? If a woman got raped, she shouldn't feel like I was the bad person. Oh, I got raped. Maybe I was looking like a whore, dressing like a whore. I don't want to tell nobody. So first of all, that's. But let me give you an example of when a woman respects a man. Let me give you an example. My wife is deaf stead of me. Every woman I've ever dated is deaf stead of me. You know why they deaf stead of me? Because they respect me. The women I've ever dated don't want to burn the chicken. They don't want to put too much salt on the mashed potatoes. They don't want to make a fucking mistake around me. The women I've dated, they are like little girl. Boy, they so, oh, oh my God, Javon, I messed up. Oh, I'm sorry, I made a mistake. Not because I'm mean or mad. 
When women respect men, they want to be perfect for them. When women respect men, they want to be great for them. When women respect men, they do unaver shit. They suck your dick when you walk in the house from the basketball court to show you you special to me. When women respect you and want you, they bring you lunch and shit. When women respect you and want you, they don't care if you got a wife. When women respect and want you, they do what you motherfucking tell them to do. So that's where you motherfuckers is off at. But let me give you an example. Example of one time in my relationship where my wife said something that's similar to that situation where an average nigga could have got upset. This would happen. And the look I gave her, she's never did it again. Let me tell you what happened. I had ran out of reefer. And I had made two, three phone calls to my favorite reefer men, and they didn't have no reefer. And I'm the type of nigga, I give my wife all my money. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to give you some game in there. Why you give your bitch all your money? You give your bitch all your money so she can know what you got. So she can know that you're bringing money to the table. If your woman make money and you give her all your money, I don't give a fuck if you work at Pizza Hut. She know this nigga doing his best. He giving me all he got. He ain't hide money to the side, buying Jordans. He ain't motherfucking lying about his child support. So I give my wife my whole check. I give my wife all the money. The money that come in this cash app, I give to my wife. My wife makes her own money. So we pay the bills with my money. Money. So a woman knowing that it's some money, let me teach y'all pussy ass niggas something. A woman knowing it's some money stashed in her bra is her security blanket. Look, we got some money. I can shop. I can do my little shit. The kids straight. I got some money in the bank and stashed in my bra. So that's the security blanket to her. However, I give the money, a uh, woman all the money, but guess what? My philosophy is this. If I ever need a thousand, a dime, you better go, you better produce it. Because I know good and goddamn well you making some goddamn money. And I know I pay all the goddamn bills. So I don't give a fuck if I need a fucking 10,000. You better put your goddamn hands on it. You better put your goddamn hands on it. I don't even know how much money my wife got in her account. But if some go down and we come up, we need a couple of grand, three, four grand. Hey, Chris, how much? She better put her goddamn hands on it. And she know that. So give you some game. I give my wife all the money and my wife is very meticulous about money. So, uh, I needed to get some reefer. I had called my guys to sell $50 reefer bags and the $50 reefer men, uh, they, 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 they didn't have no reefer. So I called the other guys. The only guys that had reefer was the hundred dollar reefer men. Now my wife, she the type of chick that's just like, why don't you just get a 50 bag of reefer and conserve it? And I'm like, cool, I can deal with that. I smoked the 50 dollar reefer. I don't like to buy a hundred dollars reefer at a time because I might smoke it up too fast. So I had to call my hundred dollar reefer guy. I called my wife. Uh, no, I didn't, I, I didn't call my wife. I called a hundred dollar reefer man. He said, you know, I only sell a hundred dollar reefer. So I got off the phone with my wife. I said, I need 50 more dollars. She said, for what? I said, I need to get some reefer. She said, I just gave you 50 for reefer. I said, the $50 reefer man ain't, uh, got no reefer right now. I got to go to the hundred dollar reefer man. She said, you can't wait till the $50 reefer man get, get back straight. What you fiending or something? She said, fiending. She was just joking with me. <laughs> you can't wait till the $50 man get his reefer back? What you feeling or something? James Evans knows. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I ain't mean to use the word feeling like crackhead or drug. I'm sorry. I was joking. That was inappropriate. I'm sorry. Please. Matter of fact, he go an extra hundred. Please get you some more reefer. You want some crack? I'm sorry. The second the bitch said something that seemed like she disrespected me. The look on my face. Ain't no goddamn woman gonna talk to me no goddamn way. Cause my mama, the only woman on this earth ever disrespected me. And I couldn't do nothing about that. Now, I take this big long dick and throw it across my shoulder and walk out your motherfucking life so goddamn fast you'll be at home crying like a motherfucker. And you know I'm somewhere stabbing another bitch with it, cooking some good food, telling some good jokes, making a laugh. Good God almighty. Woo! 
You motherfuckers is average. And let me tell you something. Let me say it like this. Let me lay it down. The person least interested in maintaining the relationship will dominate and never compromise. Meaning the person least interested in maintaining the relationship will dominate and never compromise. What do you mean, Javon? What do you mean, Javon? Two people go together. Jack and Jill go together. If Jill don't give a fuck about breaking up with this nigga, she going to dominate him and never compromise. That's why most men, average men say, happy wife, happy life, happy wife, happy life. Because average men have too much of ego to get a less than average bitch. An average man is always going to date above his level and use his money and resources to get a bitch above his level. So when a bitch only fucked with you for money, she ain't going to listen to you. Let me tell you two reasons a bitch should never listen to an average motherfucking nigga. Let me explain to you why. And I'm just giving you some real game. You take it or you don't. Let me give you some game. The person least interested in maintaining the relationship will dominate it and not compromise. Okay, Dr. Clark, what are you saying? I'm saying your bitch may be with you for money. She tired of you getting on up her back sweating. She tired of your feet. She tired of you motherfucker. She didn't realize this little money ain't worth it. This little money ain't worth it. Matter of fact, Craig, I got other niggas that's willing to do this. This little shit. I thought you was a baller. You took me to see Salt Bay up front. I ain't know you, nigga. You ain't got much. That's how they talk with their hands. You ain't got much as I thought you had. So now she don't want to break up with you. Why don't she want to break up with you? Because she don't want to look like she had another failed relationship. She hates to have to break up. That old Keisha again and broke up again. Thought she had a good dude. He was winding the down and taking on bank. So she don't want to break up with you. But she will dominate your motherfucking ass. She will dominate you and make your life miserable until you leave her. Cause your money don't, she don't respect that. Or you a motherfucker that ain't got shit that's living with her. She don't want to break up with you. Because she don't want to have another relationship. There go Keisha again. New boyfriend to move in. She done had to put him out already. So she don't want to break up with you. But she'll dominate you. She'll treat you like shit. She'll talk shit to you. She won't listen. She won't cook and clean. She'll treat you like shit, motherfucker. And most of these motherfucking manosphere niggas be getting treated like shit. If you dislike women, you got treated like shit. I love women. I love women, baby. Oh, let me fuck your homegirl. Are you crazy? What make you say something to me like that? Cuz, y'all know y'all homegirls and y'all done talked about me. Y'all done talked about me. You done told her what I can do. And she curious, I see how she looking at me. Let me fuck your homegirl, straight up. No, I don't know what, you on some shit now. Yeah, I am on some shit. Meaning I got a wife and we done fucked a couple of times. So you boring now. I done flipped your ass over, ate your pussy, licked your ass from the back. I done did everything with you, baby. You boring now. If you don't let me fuck your home, girl, that's nothing to keep me around. Two days later, bring, hey, what you doing? At the house chilling. You want to come through? Nah, I can't come through. You know how we do. I call you when I want to come see you. You don't get to see me when you want to see me. I'm the goddamn man. I tell you when we see each other. Well, cold word, my homegirl over the house, uh, my homegirl over here, I was just saying that you want to come over and see with me and chill with me and my homegirl, but all right, bye. She knows she got me. I'm right back on the phone. Ring, 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 hello. You say your homegirl over the best friend? Yeah, the best friend, but you know the best friend, the one, but uh, since you got busy with your wife, you got something to do. Since you got Mr. Two Wives and all this, don't worry about it. I'd be like, no, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm finna come over there and chill with you and your homegirl. Cause she's finna do what I asked her to do. <laughs> weep, weep. Weep, weep. Weep, weep. Weep, weep, motherfucker. She finna do what I asked her to do. I get over there. Hey, girl, this my homegirl. Hey, what's up? You know, I met you. 
God damn it, I'm bold. What the fuck y'all got me over here for? I'm bold. Just chill, chill. She got chill. chill. You got to get her drunk. You got to get her drunk. She don't smoke weed. Bro, some weed. Let her smoke. Get her drunk. I don't want no drunk bitch. I want the bitch to do it of a sober mind. I don't want to be a Cosby her. I ain't going to let you fake drunk. She said, shut up, big mouth. You finna talk yourself out of the threesome. I don't want the fucking threesome if we got to sit here like children. Bitch, you ain't got to get drunk. Your homegirl done told you about me and I can fuck. And I didn't, she done told you that I said I ain't fucking with you no more. Unless you give me some pussy. And you finna do it for your homegirl. Cause you the gun to hide a motherfucking back. So we finna have a good time. I ain't finna motherfucking get her drunk. I ain't finna give her no motherfucking reefer. We grown people. I'ma sit on this couch and I'ma take this dick out and y'all gonna suck it together. As friends, grew up together. Me and sisters would never part. That's exactly what the fuck you gonna do. Or I'ma get the fuck up out of here and I'ma leave. Cause the other girls I fuck with will do it. See, I'm above average. When you're above average, you understand this. A lot of brothers don't understand, yo, why are you offering women shit to see that they like you? You can't tell when a woman like you, hey, come over here and talk. You offering a woman shit to see if she like you? That's ass backwards like nature. We didn't switch shit up because of so much femininity in the world and women want to be this listen in nature a male bird cuckoo cockatoo a male bird do a little dance he do a little dance yeah he's standing over there woo woo i'm a male bird look at me look at my feathers elvis presley feathers woo 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 he might do a little strut eat 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 the male squirrel be over that bitch doing the goddamn shit and shit you know males in nature say look at me look at me look at me you want to fuck with me the peacock said go to turkey woo woo i'm a big turkey the men show off their body and stature in nature. The men show off their stature and body. My man said sweating like a hog this early. That's that poison come out of here. Out of here. Well, actually, bro, I ain't drank. Let me be real with you. In the summertime, I really don't like running the AC in my house. I got the windows up because the AC, the ventilation system in the house, that circulation is circulating that old air through the house. That's why black people have cancer. Black folks back in the day didn't get lung cancer because black folks opened the door window and want no central air and the fans. But just for that, we're going to put your ass in the nation hat, man. You got your little pretty hat on. Now, now, that's not saying that I don't drink because everybody know normally I'll be up here drinking. Normally I'll be up here smoking a joint and drinking, but I'm not. So you see this grown ass motherfucking man? This Let me show you what I mean. Now, I'm going to use this as a teaching point. Sweating this early, drinking, poison coming out of you. Bitch, I don't got no motherfucking job. I don't live on your time, nigga. I'm not average. I drank me a drink at 6.30 on a motherfucking Monday because I ain't got to get up and punch no clock, motherfucker. I'm not average. I don't have to wait till the weekend to grill. I'm not an average motherfucker. I can grill out during the week, motherfucker. So I can drink whenever the fuck I get ready. You see what I'm saying? Just, just as simple as that. So uh we let a nigga like that talk that shit. I wish I could unblock him and bring him back in. He's a hat nigga. A hat nigga mean this. He going bald at an early age or he gray and don't want to be gray. You think I want to cover me up? A hat nigga is like a bitch wearing a Spanx. Bitch, you a hat nigga. I don't talk to hat niggas. You hat motherfucking wearing ass nigga want to get in the club with your little hat on. I don't give a fuck if it's a motherfucking fitted cap or a motherfucking Steve Harvey do out there Hewlett cap. You a hat nigga. <laughs> hat boys. <laughs> you hat motherfucker. That's what's wrong with us. Oh, hat ass wearing a nigga. He the type of motherfucker that'll go marry a bitch from Dominican Republic. Thinks she gonna listen. Don't no bitch listen to no hat wearing ass nigga. Back to what the fuck I was saying. No, I wanted, I had to block him. I had to block him. I, I, sometime I block for fun, brother. Sometime I block just so I can call him a motherfucking hat nigga. That's why I blocked him. 
just so I can make a joke on him and call him a motherfucking hat wearing ass nigga. Look like he had on a gray hat with a red bottom hat. He 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 even paid two thousand dollars for. Hey, look, you see my red on my hat now. Hey, look, I got the red bottom hat. You know that mean I, <coughs> I get you some red bottom shoes. So I blocked him for that, just as being a hat wearing ass nigga. Yeah, I ain't got the AC on. I got the windows open today. <clears throat> but uh, back to the message at hand. Men don't understand. Men in nature, peacock for bitches. Now our bitches is dancing for us. Look at me. No, that ain't how it go. So as a man, I look at it and say, look what kind of weird ass goddamn bird is that? I'm a peacock. Hey man, that bitch must be a lesbian. Out there dancing, showing off, showing our ass off for us. Y'all think I'm bullshit. Let me tell y'all something. Y'all don't think them bitches that be twerking and shit, smacking on each other's ass, go girl, go. Y'all don't think them bitches eating each other's pussy. Them bitches is dykes. Y'all got to be foolish. Them girls going on girls trips, four, five girls together. See, I don't go on no men's trip. When I go on a men's trip with some of my niggas, we going to the bitches resort. Them girls and got together five, six bitches together in the goddamn resort. They done got so drunk and girl, before you know it, they fucking each other, eating each other's pussy. So you don't have to understand. Y'all don't understand nature. The same way a male lion supposed to sit back and say, hey, any of y'all bitches like me, bring me something to eat. Same way a man's supposed to sit back and say, hey, if you want to date me, let me see, can you wife? Can you cook? Can you clean? Will you stop by apartment? Wash my clothes. That's in the very same way. A male in the animal kingdom, in the animal kingdom decides to say, hey, look at me. Woo, woo, woo. Look at my wings. Look at my lion's mane. And women's supposed to look at the male do the dance and pick the male off there. Them motherfuckers be out there goddamn jerking on each other, seeing who can do the jerk the best, and then the woman pick. But see, now times have changed. Our niggas is so bitchy and so average and don't know how to approach a bitch. The bitches have to say, hey, look at me, I'm dancing. Look at me, look at me, approach me, approach me. Ah, look at me, look at me, look at me. Because these niggas is so bitch. See, they don't know how to holler at a bitch without money. Y'all think I'm bullshitting. I'm trying to give y'all some game. That's why these bitches acting like that now. Because the shit out of order. A bitch said, hey, hey, I got to. I got to get attention. These average motherfuckers don't have no confidence. And the dope game and got them dried up. So they used to have money to holler at me. Now women are like, God damn, won't nobody holler at me. Oh, I'm used to men being in my face peacocking. Now the women said, look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me. And I'm the type of nigga to be like, what kind of bitch is that? I hear twerking and shaking her ass and titties in public saying, looking at me. I don't want no bitch like that. If I do, I'm just going to fuck them. Because I know a bitch like that don't cook clean and take care of no shit. Because that bitch advertising the wrong shit. Ooh, get her. Ooh. Get that bitch over here and get her to ride some dick. She can do all that goddamn good twerking and shit. Get her on some dick to ride. But we don't, we don't want her for no reason. We don't want her for no reason. And what man comments on another man sweating? I could have just came back from goddamn the gym or anything. I could have got through fucking beating my meat or any goddamn thing. You see where we at, men? You see where we at? Men have gotten like women. Men say the same thing as women. I said that. It's a couple of guys come at me. I said niggas going to third world countries buying pussy. My man came back and said, women do it. I said, women don't talk about it. And black women don't do that. That's white bitches. White bitches going to Jamaica to get uh right. Uh, who? Here go John Antoine. Right. You show sure is. That go another man with an emoji. Hey, John Antoine, I want to bring you in and talk to you, man. See what you think, man. See what you think. I want to talk to a man that will comment on another man's sweat with an emoji uh, remark. I want to see how you look. I know you. Watch this. Watch, watch his head. Nah, I got, I got him. Oh, okay, okay. Now, hey, look, I want to talk to you, man. Yeah. Of all the things I done said sitting up here, do you think I'm talking crazy or I'm saying some with sense? Nah, First nah, of all. No, nah, I agree. I, I walked in I forgot what you were saying, but I had walked in, but I agree with it. So I, I don't know where you was at because it kind of started chopping. And so I, whenever so I comment, so it was so chopping. So you're saying I'm, 
Uh, go ahead. So you say you think I'm talking with some sense. Right. Right. Now get and, the and fuck hold on. off here. Well, 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 get the fuck off here, man. Get the fuck out of here. I'd rather you been goddamn clowning. Get the fuck out of here. This nigga said he think I'm talking sense. Well, if I'm talking sense, be a man and listen or comment and agree. If I'm talking sense, don't talk about my motherfucking sweat as a man, bro. And fucking emoji in me, he sure is sweaty. He, 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 motherfucker, I ain't Richard Pryor. So you see how this woman, Alice Spencer, put all them emojis? I expect the woman to do that. The woman said, ha! I don't expect no motherfucking man to emoji laugh at me like that. I get offended in real life. A motherfucking man said, Hey, I said, motherfucker, what you laughing so goddamn hard at me like that for? I expect a woman to do that. You see, I had to do him like that. Now, if he have came on and said, fuck you, nigga. I don't like you. Then I'd have been like, oh, okay, shit, let's talk, bro. But he like, no, man, I agree with you. Well, if you agree with me, just say amen like the church. That's what we don't understand. Y'all think I'm playing? No. That man just said, you show is sweaty with an emoji, but he agree with me. That's the opposite of what a motherfucker that would agree with me. Back in the day, they said, show you right. He said it was choppy. I don't give a fuck if it was choppy. Don't be commenting on another motherfucking man's sweat anyway. If I'm watching a motherfucker, you know how many pastors or how many preachers or how many teachers or how many motherfuckers I have learned from that was sweating? I used to take martial arts. Motherfucker was sweating, kicking my ass, sweating all over me. Goddamn, knock my ass down and sweat on me. I don't say, Sensei, you're sweating on me. I can't learn because you're sweating, man. I played college football. What up, LB? That's my nigga playing. I played college football. The coach come in my face. Javon, get your ass in here. You better get your shit together, motherfucker. Cuss me out. Sweating all over me. That motherfucker spit my get on me. Sweating. I'm coach. Coach. You, I can't learn. You're sweating, coach. I can't learn because you're sweating, coach. So that's what I'm talking about. Now, what are you saying, Javon? What's the entire point of this message? Why would you, as old folks say, you're vetting a woman. Why would you not pick your woman based on what she can do as a wife? If I'm if I'm checking out a woman to wife, if I want a bitch to be my bitch, I got a checklist. Hey, can you suck good? Okay, you got to suck my dick. Okay, she didn't suck my dick good. Uh, can you fuck good? Okay, you didn't fuck good. Can you cook clean well? Okay, you did all that well. Y'all niggas is wanting the bitch, wanting the woman, and and, and this is y'all. Y'all niggas is wanting the woman, and this is y'all doing. Okay, I'm gonna take her out to dinner. Can she eat eat a salad well at a restaurant? <laughs> what the fuck you need to know that for? I'm gonna buy a jewelry. Does she accept gifts well? Do she look good in the earrings? Uh. I'm going to pay for her to get her hair and nails done. Can she go to the hair and nail salon and get along with the Chinese women without fighting? Okay, I done did that. Can she ride on a plane? Can I fly out somewhere? That don't let you know if that's, that's a good woman. You're doing the wrong shit. Now let me teach the women and men something together. And this is where women get upset. Women, you don't have no motherfucking choice in picking no man. You don't got a motherfucking choice. You have an arbitrarily default choice. Look at this pretty woman right here. You see, she's a W. Look at all these men that like her. She is picking from the guys that her approach her. Six guys may approach her. She may not really, really, really like or want to be with one of either one of them, but she's got to pick one. 
That's how it happened with women. Women, you don't have no choice. You get chosen. This is a woman. This is 10 men that like her. Of those 10 men, she don't really like but four of them. And those four aren't her ideal. She's just settling from the ones that approach her. Men, on the other hand, if we reverse this and turn this into an M, men have the option to go out and pick the one they want. Now, they might get turned down by one, but they can walk off and keep picking. My thing is with men, with all the women you can pick, why would you pick a woman that you say will throw in your face if you tell her you got molested? Why would you pick a woman that you say wouldn't cook for you? Why would you pick for a woman that you say is verbally abusive? I could be like this. I'm a man. I can pick any woman I want. I walk out. I approach her. I like her. She likes me. The second she slays some slick shit to me, bitch, get out of here. You talking slick. Let me go get a new one. Let me go get a new woman. Now, let's reverse this again. Women. Women. This is a woman. This is a woman. A hundred men approach you and you choose the one you like best out of the hundred. You don't get to go over there and get that one that you really want. If you do, he's going to fuck you over. It happens every time. That's why your grandma told you, date the man that wants you, not the man you want. Let's show it again. Let's make it a clear, cleaner example. Hey, I got some crayons here. Oh, good God. That makes it even better, class. I got my chalkboard over there. This makes it even better. Get the crayons out. Hey, can somebody shoot a cash app and say, I got you even if you don't? My man already paid me $200 to teach this message, so I'm already straight either way. But I would love for you, since you're watching, to say, I got you. So even if you're lying, somebody say, I got you before I continue to move on. Somebody say, I got you. We're going to sing a little song while we're waiting on somebody to say, I got you. Let's sing a song about the little guy who wants the woman who doesn't want him. I used to think I was in love. Mm. I paid the bitch, I bought her star. Got a new bag, always on her taking trips and new shoes. <laughs> I've been going digging me now. Let's make the best of Did somebody say, I got you? There you go, big bro. That's all I needed, even if you're lying. This is a woman in red. Lady in red. These are the five guys that like you in green. These are the five men that like that woman in green. This is her ideal man over here in blue. He's fucking a lot of other women. Women are sharing him. The guy that you like over there, he got plenty of bitches, but let's just do it like this. Hey, this is a lady in red. This is a lady in red. The way this happens is these men in green approach her throughout her life. She may pass up the first one, second one, third, fourth one. By the fifth one, she said, I got to settle for somebody. But I like the guy over there in the blue. I want the Idris Elba guy over there in the blue. I want the Javon guy over there in the blue. Well, Javon got plenty of bitches, okay? So he's, you're not going to be his only woman. You better settle for one of these guys. That's what she has to do. You understand? That's how it go. Every woman on here that's married... You didn't pick your man. You accepted the best of who wanted you. These five men in green want you. You run through them and you pick the best. Now, most of the time, the best of that, she still don't ever really want. That's why average people say happy wife, happy life. Happy wife, happy life. Why? Because that woman had to choose from a five men that she didn't really want. Now, if she go out here 
and try to get with him, he going to break a heart and fuck a credit up. Or just be a guy like me to say, you know, I, I'm, I'm always going to fuck other women. I'm just not yours. You understand? Now, let's reverse it. This is one man. Men have the option and choice. Our mission is to go straight for the bitch we want. What I tell men is keep going straight for the bitch you want. Ignore them. Always go for the bitch you want. Eventually, you'll get what you want. But don't compromise. So go straight for the bitch you want that look like you want her to look everything. But if she tell you uh, you got to buy this and buy that and you don't got it and don't want to do it, say, okay, well, I'll find me another one. See, when I met my wife, I went straight up to Chris and said, hey, look, I think you're supposed to be my wife. But I'm like Eddie Kane. I'm not fucking just one woman. She said, I can deal with that because I like newness too. I said, that mean you want to fuck some other niggas? She said, I could if I wanted to. I said, well, I don't give a fuck. That's your business and my business is my business. Let's get married. Meet me at the altar. I got exactly what I wanted. Now, I could have been like most of these lame ass niggas go out here and buy a bitch that's less than me, one that I really didn't want. And guess what she going to do? Run me roughshod. She ain't going to listen to me. She ain't going to respect me. She ain't going to respect me. So that's the problem with most men. Most men want what they can't get. I'm going to show you again before I get out of here because so, so you can understand it. I'm going to use my red crayon. I'm going to show you a standard deviation. And I'm going to make it very beautiful for you. The green over here is the outliers. On the good end, I'm gonna make it very beautiful for you, okay? The orange is the outliers on the bad end. I'm gonna make it very beautiful for you. These are my daughter's crayons. These are my daughter's crayons. And the red line is the average. Most motherfuckers are average right in here under this bell curve. This orange over here, these are the top echelon niggas like me. There are several reasons you can be a top echelon nigga. You could be fucking Floyd Mayweather. You could be fucking Israel Elba. Or you could just be handsome like me and never talk about money. Then you got lower end ain't shit nobody niggas. They don't never get no play. Most motherfucking men fall in this average range, right? So we're going to make the average yellow. Men and women fall in this average yellow range. Now, this is the thing. This is one line above average, two line above average, three line above average till you get to top dog like me. This is one line above, below average, two lines below average, three lines below average till you get the bottom of the fucking barrel. So look at this. I've said this earlier and we're going to get out of here because my man pays me to, and I done did my job. If you are average motherfucker, you don't need to go that way but one. Because if you go this way, one you're going to have to do something that you can't keep up with. You're going to have to wine and dine, floss, let her run you. Yeah. The more you go further over here toward top dog status, you're going to get treated like shit. You're going to get treated like shit because a above average don't give a fuck about breaking up with no average man. So guess what she says? Hey, guess what? I'm not going to listen to you. I'm not going to compromise. So most average men going to say, black women don't do this. They don't do that. They don't listen. They don't cook. They don't clean. They don't do this. They don't do that. They don't do that. Above average men like me say, not only do they cook clean, they suck my dick when I leave the basketball court and let me fuck their best friends and sisters. I think they're great.
They do wild shit for me. Man, what? You get her to do that? You got to let her move a woman in? Yeah. They do wild, crazy shit for me. I'm above average, motherfucker. You an average motherfucker, you leave with a fucking drink. You buy a bitch a drink at the club. Hey, what you drinking? What you drinking on? What you drinking on? I use the idea of a drink to get a bitch number. So an average motherfucker right here walk up to the average woman and say, hey, what you drinking? I got these. I can get you a drink. And the woman look back at him. And depending on how, whether side of the curve on, she said, no, nah, I'm good. I'm fine. I walk up to a woman at the bar. I walk up behind her. Only time I wear cologne is when I go out. Only time I wear cologne is when I go out. I got one kind my homeboy bought me because he would always have it on. And I said, man, that shit smell good, man. Let me use it. And he would always say, man, two niggas ain't supposed to have on the same cologne. So he gave it to me one day. It's called Versace Blue. That's the only cologne I ever wear. It's, it's the only scent I wear. Now, when I'm going out, I, for some reason, the bitches like that. They do well with the bitches. So I go up behind a woman at the bar at the club. And while they getting their drink, I get up close to them how they, where they can smell my cologne on me. But I get close enough to them where my energy and my shadow and my aura make them feel uncomfortable. Because really, I'm just getting too close to them on purpose, just for the lack of a better word. And she turned around and said, uh, who is you all up on? Then she realized, God damn, this motherfucker tall. God damn, this motherfucker got a pretty beard and pretty hair, pretty teeth. And he ain't dressed like these other motherfuckers. This nigga got on some slacks with no pleats and a pair of suspenders with a shirt open, his wife be the showing, and got a handkerchief in his pocket. God damn, this nigga look like some out of devil in a blue dress or some off out of wild or something. Shit. So I get close enough to him to where they turn around and when they say, God damn, look up. I said, oh, excuse me, I was trying to get a drink, but uh, since you already up there, go ahead and get me a, a double shot of vodka and a Heineken. She said, what? I said, this round on you. I said, if I might buy you a round if I like your conversation. Now, what is that? That's just trickery. Just something to confuse a woman. Who was this big tall motherfucker behind me? Hey, go ahead and buy me a drink. I, got, I get the next round if I like your conversation. She said, who is a big prick, Tommy? Ain't he funny? And he, she made a laugh. Once she green. So it's just a difference, man. You out here buying bitches drinks. Nigga, you out here walking around the club with a whole bottle of champagne so the bitch would think you got some money. She said, what is the answer to a human problem that can be answered? He's saying a man or woman is the issue. That is still pointing a finger at another person which takes the focus off yourself. All right, let me explain to you, Tasha. Uh... Tasha, the problem is men. Some of the problem is I'm admonishing men, putting foot in men ass, telling men to be more masculine, and I got a woman right here, you saying, well, what's the answer? The answer is you shut the fuck up when I'm talking to men. That's the motherfucking answer. You sit back and shut the fuck up when I'm talking to men. Because I'm trying to get men to be more masculine and trying to get men to do right. So that's what you do, Tangela. You shut the fuck up when I'm talking to men. There you go. Now I'm going to go ahead and put you in a, in a world of nationville. That be the problem. I'm admonishing men trying to help women. And here come a motherfucking woman talking about, so, so, so. that's like you saying, let up all for the men. No, get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. That, that's, that's the problem. When a man talking to men, giving men game, learning how to motherfucking approach these women and do the right thing so we stop having goddamn, because the result of these not dating on the levels, you know what they produce? Illegitimate children. Illegitimate children. You see what I mean? When that guy who go up to that woman that's above his level and he pay to get with her, guess what he do? Come in her own purpose. Yeah. Yeah, so you shut the fuck up, female. My coach called you Fraulein's in high school. That's German for female, Fraulein. Shut the fuck up, Fraulein, when I'm talking to men, okay? There you go. 
See, what happens is when a man, you hear men say it all the time. Ooh, look at that big fat ass on that girl. I'll put a baby in her in a minute. That means you don't know a man will trap you, sister. A man will take you out on dates, wine and dine you, fly you all across the country just so you give him some pussy. And if you give him some pussy, a man will fuck you raw or slip that condom off and come in you on purpose. Now he's saying, I'm affiliated with you the rest of my life because you didn't have my baby. Now, that woman who's fucking that man for money, once she realize he got some good money, she'll have his motherfucking baby for some motherfucking money. So the way that we fix the human condition is first thing, stop fucking motherfuckers that you ain't supposed to get to fuck. You get it? That's how you stop that. That's how you stop depression. Hey, big fat black bitch, you're not going to get to fuck that pretty tall light skin guy. Don't want him. You will never be depressed. If you know what you can fuck, you will never be depressed. If you know who and what you can fuck, you'll never be depressed. If you know what kind of car you can always afford, you will never be depressed. If you know what kind of house, yeah, that's the problem. I want something bigger than what I can get. Oh, no, man. I'm too short. Well, I'm, I get some money. I'm too fat. I'll get some money. I stutter. I'll get some money. You tricking these women. I don't feel sorry for no man who done bought a woman. You didn't cajole this woman with money, and now she, now you call him a gold digger. How are you a gold digger? How are you a gold digger? How she a gold digger when you told her, uh, hey, what's up, shorty? I like you. I'm trying to hang out with you. Happy birthday, Tiffany. So what's up? I'm trying to hang out with you. She said, you ain't really my type. You said, I got some gold. Now, you might not just say, I'll give you money to fuck, but you say, yo, we can go on a trip, see Salt Bay, go to Vegas. I'm going to the All-Star game. I can buy you some shoes. Now she coming for gold, and you calling her a gold digger. Now, motherfucker, you led with the gold. So that's how that's going to go, family. But like I said, I'm going to put this on YouTube. My man paid me 200 He said put it on YouTube. If y'all like the message, y'all can see in the cash app. If you don't, don't. You know what I'm saying? I already got paid for this message. But we appreciate you. But uh, before I get out of here, the last thing I need is a motherfucking hat man saying some stupid shit to me. Y'all hold it down, bruh.